a request for me to show you how to use a percolator. Today we got a treat. My niece and her sweetheart, his family has opened a wonderful family run business. It is a coffee company in downtown Dothan, Alabama in one of the old historic buildings. It is called the Mural City Coffee Company. And we ordered their coffee. We got, they do all the roasting there. And we'll talk more about that in a few minutes while this coffee is perking. But I got a dark roast that's always in stock, which is their Eagle Blend. And we're going to grind it. I got it by, in beans. And then I also got a ground one that's the Aviator's Blend. These two blends are both always available on their website. I'm going to give you links, of course, to their website but they get all their coffee in green and they do all of their own roasting nothing's artificial flavored or anything like that it's a wonderful wonderful place to go and visit if you're downtown dothan or if you're going through alabama and you want to go and visit somewhere cool and fun okay on this coffee you can see they have a pull tab which is really convenient so i can open it by the pull tab which makes it so much easier for me and boy, do these beans smell so good. So I'm going to pour them in my grinder. And me and Chris like strong coffee, so this is a dark roast. And I'm going to grind this till it's pretty powdery because that's how we like it. And it smells so good. We actually are making a coffee cake. So if you haven't seen the coffee cake video, you should watch it. You can use any kind of fruit to make it to go with your delicious coffee. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Talk about fresh. That's the way to have your coffee. I'm gonna take this out and fill this full of water. Um, this is just a regular old percolator that we got down at Ace Hardware. It's a Faberware. Me and Chris are cracking up because we've always called this Faberware and it's actually spelled Farberware. We've been saying it wrong our whole life. Anyway, we got this down at Ace Hardware. It's just your typical, you know, brand of a percolator. We're going to put some water in here. I'm going to fill it up to the eight cup mark because I plan on making plenty of coffee if I can find the mark. It has little marks on the side of the pot. And I'm going to show you how I like to make my percolated coffee. So I'm just going to make sure that it's up to the eight cup mark. Perfect. All right. And we're going to put our coffee in here. Now you're going to need a tablespoon per cup. I about had it just perfect. Once you do this enough, you'll get the hang of it. You can just dump it in there. Now we're going to set this down into our pot. Get the top part on. You don't need a, a filter or anything like that. This thing does everything for you. So just sit it down in there, put the lid on it, and then you're going to put it on an eye that's about the right size, which is this back one back here. One. And we're going to start letting it heat up. And I usually put it on a pretty high temperature to start with because it takes a while to heat up all that water. Now, while that's heating up, you'll start to hear it. You can already start to hear it. But now you're going to wait until you can actually see the coffee come up in the top of this glass part on the top of the coffee maker and it'll start bubbling and that's when it starts to perk. It takes a few minutes, at least five to ten minutes. All right, so when Tammy turned this on, it's probably been decades since I have heard that sound and smelled that smell of the coffee percolating on the stove uh, because, you know, my grandparents, they loved their coffee and they drank coffee all day long and there was always a percolator sitting there, so that really took me back and it really didn't occur to me how long it has been since everybody's been using, you know, their 
electric coffee pots and you know they're mr coffees and now the keurigs and all those things we really like those but there's something about this it just kind of takes you back um and that's exactly what you know happened to me when tammy started making this i was like wow you need to talk about your granny you know making this kind of stuff on the stove but i mean i remember that very well all right i hope you enjoyed hearing from chris talk about his granny and her percolator I'm going to be honest with you. The only thing I remember my granny using is a Mr. Coffee coffee maker. But I will say, Mural City Coffee Company down in Alabama, they like to take you back to naturally roasting their own coffee, getting it in green, and enjoying a fresh brew of coffee. I hope you get a chance to go in there and visit with them. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the coffee company so that you can be familiar with it. And you can also go online on Facebook every other Tuesday. They have a live local band playing that you can watch. Their building is enormous with 5,000 square feet per floor. It has a first level and a second level that they actually the second level, they actually rent out for special occasions, and it has five different sections um, for your party, which is really nice. There's a lot of really cool things about the building, really old feel to it. They did a wonderful job of renovating it, and if you are ever downtown Dothan, please take a minute to go in and enjoy their facility. If you're a local there and you do get to go in and visit the coffee company, how about putting a note down in the comments or if you've tried their coffee. Now you have a chance to try their coffee just like me and Chris is doing. The percolator is starting to fog up in the top, but it hasn't started perking yet. So I personally, the percolator in the directions will tell you to perk your coffee for about five minutes and turn it off. I like to perk mine for about 15 minutes because I like for my my coffee to be dark. And as it's perking and, and coming up at the top, you will be able to see what color the coffee is and how strong it's getting. All right. The percolator has finally started perking. Took it quite a while. Uh, probably close to 10 minutes. So keep that in mind when you want a good old cup of coffee. you got to wait a few minutes. And you can see that the coffee right now is very light, almost clear, because it has just started perking. So we're going to look at the clock. And I'm going to see how long it takes for it to look dark. Because I want it to be dark. This is a dark roast. perked it a good 10 minutes. I'm going to turn it off. And I like to let it sit for just a minute. Now it's boiling hot, so if you pour a cup of coffee when it's that hot, I usually let it sit for a few minutes. Y'all ready to pour a good old cup of coffee? It's about time. Well, that's one good thing about making it the old-fashioned way. By the time you get it made, you're ready for it. So we perk this 10 good minutes. Okay. And I am not a black coffee fan and it's dark roast. So Chris and I both like sugar and cream. Chris likes a little sugar, I like a lot. Was that too much for you, Chris? All right, how much you want? Just a Half little bit? That. Like that? Half of that spoon. Okay. Yeah. I might need a little to grow on. Chris just likes a little bit of cream. I like a lot.
I got out my clear cup so y'all could see the coffee. Let's give it a sip. But don't get burnt if you make it this way. It's good and hot. <laughs> it's got a really good strong flavor too. It's a very good coffee. Which doesn't surprise me because the beans smelled so good. Mm. It's good. It is good, ain't it? Mm -hmm. That's got a great flavor. Good job, Zach. He knows what he's doing now. It's not often you know the person that roasted your coffee beans, I guess. We, but we do. All right, y'all get over there, get online, get you some good old roasted coffee, make it the old fashioned way, or make it in your electric cooker. Thank you, Destiny and Zach at the Mural City Coffee Company in Dothan, Alabama. They've been in business for several years now and they're doing well. Go see them. One thing that Destiny loves her sweetheart is the big coffee guru, but she is a tea lover. They have over 50 different teas in-house that you can try. And there's not many places that have that many different kinds of teas. So if you get a chance and you love tea and you live around the area, go in there and have a cup of tea. You can also buy all of their teas online.